this will be another tutorial on how to use any image as a background in spark AR studio and how to use custom uh, and how to use dynamic uh, text in your filter okay let's first open up uh, spark AR studio open a blank project so here so i'm going to use this image as the custom background okay you can see a preview of the image here i can double uh, double click this and see this this is an image that i took while i was on a plane so this will be the custom background Let's uh, increase the size. So what we are going to do? So we are going to make this image as the background. Okay. So for that, click on this camera texture. Okay. Let's first create the a rectangle where we are going to display the uh, background. Okay. So. Let's increase this rectangle, fill this width, fill this height, okay? So on this rectangle, we are going to display the cloud, okay? So now we have this rectangle. Let's assign a material to this rectangle. So this will be the background material. So background material, okay? So this will be the rectangle okay so let's make it flat okay and then and then let's assign the texture okay cloud texture now we have set this image as the background but there is no uh, image of the user okay so for that we need to apply the camera texture over this background okay for that we will click on this camera texture to extract the camera texture okay so let's go to this uh, canvas and then uh, background we have this okay so we have the background over here right but we don't have this uh, image coming out from the camera okay so we will require another rectangle where we can display the portion okay so let's make it as the Version rectangle. Okay, so we have this version rectangle, and then let's fill this uh, screen with this version rectangle. Fill width, fill height. Let's assign a material where we can apply the texture. So this will be the version material. No, not duplicate. So this uh, rename version material. Okay, so let's make it flat okay so we have this so you might have remember when you uh, we have the background at the back and then the version rectangle on the top okay so here if we supply the on this rectangle if we supply okay so let's select this version material and if we supply this material with the texture coming out from the camera we can see the portion coming back again but right now we don't have the background okay so this is where the segmentation camera segmentation marks comes in okay if you click here we have a section co option called segmentation if you click on this plus icon we have the option to segment the person 
I mean a cut out so this is like a cut out of the person we have the camera texture and then from the camera texture we will cut out the person and the person image is extracted okay so if you go back to this person rectangle okay uh, person material and then so we have this section called alpha right check mark this alpha this is where we are going to uh, use the uh, segmentation mass for the person okay let's see what happens when we uh, apply the <coughs> excuse me when we apply the segmentation marks texture see this so we are now able to see the background so what what just happened right now so on the second layer on this person rectangle we are applying we are using this to camera texture and segmentation texture okay so what happens is that on this rectangle we are applying this material and on this material we are applying this texture camera texture so camera texture in it includes the uh, whole feed that is coming from the camera and then this segmentation marks so segmentation marks is camera texture minus the person okay so just remember segmentation texture is not the person but we have the background minus the rectangle so we are left with a hollow portion right where we can see the person okay that's why so this portion this portion is the cutout part okay and then through that cutout part we can see the person okay only the person is remaining okay and then the remaining portion of the camera texture has been removed and then through that we are able to see the texture in the background rectangle okay so we have this two layers two rectangles okay two rectangles okay on this a rectangle we have the background okay on the second portion there are two textures two textures okay wherein we have the camera texture camera texture includes the whole feed that is covered everything that the camera can see is laid out over there okay and then we are from the camera texture we are removing the portion of the camera texture that does not include the person okay okay everything has been removed from the camera texture except the person okay so this upper portion from the camera has been removed keeping the person remaining so that we can see the background and the, the person so this is how you make any image as a custom background that's it you can make you can bring in any png file and uh, put it in the x uh, asset panel and then you can make that photo as a custom background okay now let's go to the section wherein uh, we can display uh, dynamic text on the uh, image or on our filter okay so i want to display i want to create a back uh, a border here top border bottom left right okay and then i want to display the date time place temperature altitude on the rectangle on the top okay for that let's create another rectangle okay where i can display the time and also make it as the border okay let's duplicate it, it. command d d okay we have three rectangles okay i want to make this rectangle as the top rectangle bottom rectangle and this as the left rectangle this as the right rectangle okay so i want this rectangle to fill the top okay so let's fill this rectangle let's fill this yes uh <coughs> the upper portion of this rectangle okay fill the width okay so for this i think we can bring this down a little bit okay so let's try improving this is 100 so let's try 150 okay 
I want to display more information so let's make it 200 I guess 200 is a little much okay let's keep it here so I want to display date time here over here okay so in this bottom rectangle I want to bring this bottom rectangle to the bottom so we have you see this option here right these are for the alignment of the rectangle okay so let's bring this rectangle bottom okay and then fill the width okay so I guess this height is enough okay so left rectangle so I want this left rectangle to align to the left and then fill the height fill the height yeah so fill the height but I want this width to be less okay this is 100 so let's make it 50 let's see what happens okay so let's make it about 30 okay and then I want another rectangle to fill the uh, right border okay so right rectangle okay let's move this rec uh, let's make this rectangle fill the height let's make it 30 and then align it to the right okay so we'll make this as the <coughs> border excuse me so select all these four rectangle and assign a material assign let's make a clear rectangle okay let's make this material name as border material okay border material okay. so we have this border material we make it flat so that it's not affected by the surrounding light okay so it's asking for a texture we can keep it as white and assign a color yeah so we can make it pink green whatever you want okay so let's make this light pinkish light blues light this crayon but slightly lighter okay so we have custom border where we can display the text okay so for that what do we need to do we need custom so let's click on this rectangle and then we have something called 2d text okay 2d text this is right rectangle my bad it's deleted I want to display on the top rectangle okay so we have 2d text okay 2d text so as you can see the top rectangle is at the bottom okay so let's bring it down at the bottom so that the text is displayed here let's rephrase it okay so the top rectangle is at the top of the four rectangles okay so you can see the text here if we click on this 2d text and come to this inspector panel you have a section for text if you change the text here okay that that i change the okay. so if you make changes here if you make changes here it will be hard coded to the effect so the data would not change with the day of uh, day of the week okay the date, the date will not change the time will not change okay so if you want to make it dynamic to get the data from your phone and display it on the effect Okay, you have to use this dynamic text okay click on insert and then let's check the time okay if you select this time okay so let's increase the size of this time here a little bit okay so you can see this right you can see the time so the data is generated from my laptop on your phone if this effect is loaded on your phone the data will be generated from your phone okay and then we have some other options let's have another 2d text okay so 2d text is overlaid here so let's move it to the side okay and let's make it dynamic okay so insert location so do we have current city right so it will, it's displayed as london because meta is not able to detect the location from the laptop so if you give permission to the effect so this uh, dynamic text will almost will only be generated if you give permission to the effect. Okay. 
so the location will be generated based on the uh, person's location on your phone okay and then you can change the color here click ok you can select the 2d text and change the color let's say blue yeah purple yeah whatever okay so this is how you can create custom background generate a border where you can display dynamic text yeah so the design part you can yeah, play with the color you can play with the size you can play with the alignment okay and then the background of course you can choose whatever background that you have with you and then display it okay I guess this wraps up uh, this tutorial on how to make any image so the image should be a PNG or a JPEG file as a custom background create a border and display uh, dynamic text in your effect and if you like this tutorial I know that I'm a starter and my videos are not that great but I'll try to improve with each uh, video so please support by subscribing and yeah pressing the like button okay see you on the next one thank you